So just finished up a call regarding um, internet connectivity and local neighborhood outage of power and internet, et cetera. So pretty much total catastrophe of, of, of a store's environment. So the store is getting put on generator and it's going to come back up and running, but in the end, they will not have internet activity or accessibility. But this afternoon is order day. The purchase order of some $4,000 has already been created. And so I'd like to go over the process that of ability to export your purchase order to a file, then take that file on a thumb drive, to another location and then access, in this particular case, the Do It Best website and import that PO up to the site so you can get your order in. So the quick and easy way of doing that, and we're just going to go pick a site. Let's go to uh, this particular location. We're going to first go to the IC Vendors tab, and we're going to identify the, the file format to which we want to export. So I'm choosing the Do It Best vendor. I'm going into the Setup tab. Uh, I'm going to go to Export Setup after I select Edit. So then I can actually change these values. Otherwise, you'll get there and you won't be able to change anything. So you have to edit before you choose that button. And what you want to do is select the file type for export as to be a CSV no header and two simple changes you're going to make. These are typically all zeros, but in the case of do it best, in the second column we want the quantity to order. So you hit the up and down arrow and make that a two. Then you come down to the vendor part number and make that a one. Select OK. So we've set up the configuration of what that export file is going to look like. Go ahead and select Save here. And we can close. And then let's go in this particular case. Let's go to their PO, Modify PO. Yeah, there's a PO for Do It Best. We're going to select Select. So you choose the PO that you want. And then you'll see the Export button at the bottom available here. So if we select Export, it's going to generate all that. And then it's going to come to where do you want to place this file? And what do you want to name it? Um, by default, it's PO underscore export CSV. Let's just leave it that way in this case. If, uh, as this phone call just had, they had an external drive, a thumb drive. So they went into this PC and actually saved it directly to that thumb drive to which then they'll take it home and import it into the Do It Best site. So all we're going to do is select Save here. We've done this once before, so yes, we will replace that. Export, and it's now completed. So where is that file? If you had redirected it, it would have been on your redirected folder. In this case, I'm going to go into, let's go actually just drill all the way into here. And there is the file. I'll go edit it, and we'll see what we have. This is what we have. We have the item and the quantity, the item number and the quantity, etc. So this is about a $4,000 order, about 15 pages. So the next step, we'll take this file and import it into the bulk orders site at Do It Best. At the Do It Best website, you'll choose the order pad and then choose bulk orders. After that, you'll choose choose file, which will slide to select choose file. And then you locate the file location of that particular file that you've, you've copied over. So we'll choose the file and then we'll go to the export file that was created. It was copied to a thumb drive. And then uh, this format that we see, which has the uh, item number and then the quantity is seen 
uh, without headers, which is that first option right there. So then if we scoot down, uh, you'll see a submit button down below. That quick add is the submission button, which will then process this file into the purchase order. So once selected, then the system will, in, in red in this example, will show those items that were not found in the website. But over to the far right here, you'll see primary 157. So there's 157 items that were pulled into this order. So it looks like everything came in except for two items. And that can be easily resolved as a manual uh, manipulation of that order at the Do It Best site. So this allows you to get this submitted, uh, this purchase order submitted to the site without having to type everything in. This is where you've exported the file out of the purchase order to a CSV file, chosen that file to import, and then it gets loaded into the site. So when it finishes up here, we'll look at the summary of this uh, particular purchase order. And we'll see, I believe we get a, a screenshot of the total order of that at some moment here, but this is the listing of items. There's the $4,100 of product. Uh, so this gives you a, a quick and easy way of importing a uh, purchase order into the website at Do It Best. Thank you.